Hi, my name is Victor and today I'm going to talk about uh, two of the new things in Revit 2019. This is the switching between uh, 3D axonometric and 3D perspective view and also applying Scopebox uh, to 3D views and how to achieve the same things in earlier versions of Revit. And before I start, I can invite you to subscribe to my channel because this will help me create more content. So I'm in Revit 2019 as you can see by the new cool look of the windows here which is really really nice but maybe I'll talk about this uh, in another video. And this project it's actually a, a a model I did uh, way back in 2013 when I was uh, in my third year of university. So that's why it's super crazy and ugly, as you can see, like some kind of cancer cells or so. But anyway, let's get to the point here. So as I'm still in the 3D view, the first thing I want to talk about it is that now in uh, Revit 2019 I can just click here and switch to perspective and it disappears completely because um, it just uh, puts a camera somewhere which is an estimate sometimes it's a good estimate sometimes not that so yeah you can just without doing anything switch between perspective and orthographic view in Revit 2019 which is a function that a lot of people wanted to have but it actually exists in uh, earlier versions so here this is uh, 2018 but it is actually the same in uh, earlier versions as well like in 16 in 15 I'm not sure about versions before 15 because it's been a long time since I haven't used them but here we, we have to do one more step to to switch between uh, perspective and orthographic because if we just click this is in 18 you have this toggle to perspective 3d view button but it is grayed out and the reason it is grayed out is because we need boundaries for this perspective view so what do we need to do is to hit show crop region and now that we have the crop region we can toggle to perspective 3d view and again as before it disappears so yeah but if you toggle back to parallel 3d view and we go into something like a more nice view and also shrink this down a little bit we should be able to successfully toggle the perspective view or yeah maybe not so successfully yeah it definitely works better in 19 but yeah here it is and it is distorted as it's very distorted okay let's try to yeah so you can see this functionality has been here before but is definitely not as good especially in this case as in Revit 2019 where it's just smooth smooth experience so yeah definitely better and I'm actually really happy with the new version of Revit for so many reasons the windows, the 3D views, and what else? Like, this is a crazy project. 
it's maybe unrealistically crazy in that case but in projects where we have different uh, rotations of the geometry oftentimes what we do is uh, we use scope boxes so here it's, it is the scope box and let's say I want uh, to put this section of our building in a scope box which should be aligned to that wall but we cannot really use the align tool it's not working we can use this little rotate handle and it tries to snap but it's not really doing a good job so we can also use this rotate tool to rotate the scope box and it's also not snapping to its angle so what I usually do to make sure that the scope box is rotated at exactly the direction that we need is the following I draw a reference plane or just a detail line I'm going to use the detail line at the moment and I'm going to draw it horizontal here and then I want to rotate the view in such a way that this wall comes here so I know that I drew the line or I should have drawn the line from that point and it is horizontal then I enable the scope box and I rotate it I place the center as you could guess at this point but then I don't rotate from here to here as we would guess but from here to here in the opposite way to get this horizontal and now this is a hundred percent horizontal if I draw a detail line and it starts from somewhere on the wall it's going to say horizontal and now when I have this view like this could be a copied view of course now I can be sure that the scope box I want to create is aligned to what I wanted it to be and here it is a scope box aligned to that wall so what do we use scope boxes for? lots of things and if I show now the second floor this is in Bulgaria so it says Vtori uh, second floor I here can see the scope box can give it some name like uh, western corner or so and then I can apply it to that view here in the menu we have scope box where is it? Here, extends scope box, western corner. Then it's going to crop everything else, which is nice. And then I can go back and say none. It's still going to show this crop region, but if I don't crop it, it's back to normal so it's really useful and the new thing in Revit 19 is that we can go to actually a 3D view and even though this is now in perspective it could be board or to graphic or perspective it doesn't matter we can apply a scope box to the 3D view and here it is shown in a nice way 
perspective or orthographic. But in earlier versions, if I create a scope box here, like let's quickly do the same exercise, draw a detail on it, go here. R O for rotate, space to place the center here, rotate from here to here, create our scope box, view, scope box, create, name it western corner or so. We see we can apply it to other views. But when we go to the 3D, we have no scope box here. We can actually select the scope box. And we can press on that little selection box button, which is going to crop everything around the scope box, but it's not going to be aligned. So it's not going to be precisely at the boundaries of the scope box as it is in Revit 2019. Which is really nice and it is the best way so far. But in earlier in earlier versions, what do we need to do is I'm going to click and do now. If we want uh, if we want to achieve this result, is we need a section first like just drawing a section here or something like this you can see we can pretty much match the scope box then we can go to 3d hit the right button and say orient to view and we can choose from four plans elevation sections 3d views and we can just say that last section that we did. And here it is. Pretty much the same chunk with one extra step, which is creating the section and orienting to view. So yeah, this is it for this video. And if you liked it, Press the like button, it will help me a lot. If you didn't like it, the other button will work as well. And this tip and many others, uh, I've put uh, some time ago in a free ebook that you can find on my website. It's called 27 Tips and Tricks ebook for high efficiency in Revit. And it is for free on my website. You just click here and get the PDF. You don't need to subscribe, but I recommend you to subscribe. And if you really find it uh, valuable, if you really think that it helped you, you can also consider donating here. So this is it from me. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye. Until the next time.